Hello there, everyone. Wow, it's been so long, and I'm so excited to be back. I'm way out of practice as far as voicing over videos, as well as the game itself. I have kept up my game just doing the events as they come along, but I've just done a little bit of building over the past nine months. So I'm a little bit out of practice, but it is great to be back. I also wanted to let you know there are a few videos that I have made over the last few months with those builds that I've done, those few builds, but I never uploaded them, of course. Even though they are a little outdated, I don't want to waste them and you can still get some ideas from them. So I'll label them as old on the thumbnails. That way you can decide whether or not you want to watch those videos. I'm also currently building and creating newer content and you'll be seeing the new videos along with those. Also, we have a new Facebook page to go along with our already established Facebook group, Sims Free Play Architects, which already has over 20,000 members. We've had that group for well over two years now, maybe three. This is a page though, so go over and like and follow the new page. I'll put a link in the description box because there we can talk in the post more in a one-on-one -on -one sort of way with no group rules other than the obvious Facebook rules. And there you'll get to see previews of builds as I'm building them before the video is even made, along with cool discussion posts about everything Sims Free Play, where we can also chat in the comments. And I also want to go back for a second. As far as the older builds that you're going to see uploaded, I have this one. I have a two-bedroom family home. I have that Claus house remodel from Christmas, a garden home, the 10th birthday party home remodel, and then I have two older architect homes, uh, one from early February of 2022 this year, and then one from mid-December of 2021, which was just before the turn of the year. All right, so with all the business out of the way, let's look at this build. I did build this a few months ago, and then I added things as events came along, if that makes sense. So I created the build, and then as I would do events, I would add things to it, and I think I stopped about maybe, I would say two or three updates ago, putting new items in it, but I really like this house. It's a two-story, three-bedroom family home. And I was so happy when we got the new colored roofs. I love the red roof especially, so I wanted to build a house with that. And then I wanted to take these beautiful trees with the red in them. You can tell I probably started on this around fall of last year because there's a pile of leaves over there in the corner. And I just think it's a beautifully shaped home as well. And then out back here you have the patio there with a table and a hammock and some more of those beautiful red trees. And that's the back. And then we'll swing around here to the side. And I love how that chimney goes all the way up to the top. I love the A-frame roofing anyway. And again, I was so glad to get all of the new colors. And then just the landscaping, you saw the red trees out front, some flowers, a driveway that connects to the sidewalk and walks over here to the front entrance where I have those beautiful potted flowers there. And I love those lights. So let's go on inside. This is the entryway here. And I'm just going to point out everything I love over the last nine months because to me they're all kind of new since I haven't made videos on them. I love these stairs with the wine underneath. And then you have a little sitting area over here in the entryway. A nice big rug. And then there's that pretty door. And I used one of these windows here with the plants. And then you have a little alcove here with an armoire to store coats and shoes. And that is the entryway. And there's a doorway there that leads into the dining room that we'll look at here in just a minute. But here is the L-shaped great room. So you have the fireplace here with the French doors on either side and these beautiful couches. And I love that coffee table and the striped rug there. And then that's another thing I added were those plates on the wall with a more recent update. And so you kind of get an idea of how the layout goes from the entryway into the great room. And then through here, you can see there are more French doors <laughs> than there probably need to be. But there's a set here that goes into the office where there's a desk and just a shelf and a lamp, a bench and a lounge chair there. And then you come on back through here from the living room and it's joined with the kitchen. 
I made it a very simple kitchen. You guys know how much I love smaller, simple kitchens, and I'm loving those bar stools. It looks great with that cabinet and counter set. And then another doorway here that leads into the dining room. So you can get there from either direction. You can come in from the living room, the entryway, and from the kitchen. And I'm loving those chairs as well. So that takes you out to the back patio. And I have the fridge over here and then the herb shelf on the wall. So we have the garage over there, as you saw, and you can come in from the garage into this laundry room. And then here's the garage itself, just a tool bench and a trash can. So that's how you enter the home from the garage through the pantry and the laundry room. And then right here, I have included a full bath because there is a guest bedroom downstairs. So I wanted to make that, instead of the usual half bath downstairs, I wanted to make that a full bath. And here is the guest bedroom, just very simple with a bed, some nightstands, and a TV there. So that's what the downstairs looks like. I think it's a very nice and simple layout, which I'll show you at the end. So let's go on upstairs, and here's where you come up into more of an entertainment area. So there's the stairs, and they you can sort of walk around them here. And there's an alcove here where I stored some books. And there's a corner TV. We'll open up the window blinds there. I love those little windows with the plants on them. I just don't want to use it for the whole house, but I think it's an accent window. It's beautiful. You saw the L-shaped sofa there. And then in this area over here is an office. And I've just put some counters there with some decorations on it. Just to give it, you know, like a desk lamp and a globe. Just more of an office look. And here's a little hallway here and I've decorated it with a table and some artwork and a beautiful lamp. And next we'll go into the master bedroom. Now you'll just have to pretend that the glass on the French doors is frosted for privacy. <laughs> but this is the master. It's a nice L-shaped room. I love the wallpaper and I absolutely love that TV wall unit. That is beautiful. So I've put a sofa there and that pretty mirror to sort of balance out the wall. You have a fireplace here and I could have sworn I had artwork over this bed, but maybe I didn't because of the pattern on the wall. I think it looks beautiful the way it is though. You have the closet over here with the hamper and the closet unit. And then you have the master bath here. And I put one of those pretty rugs under the sink and it just has a shower. It's a three piece master bath. You could change that out for a tub if you wanted to instead of a shower. And then across the hallway, you have a bedroom here so this is the third bedroom of the house and I put the beautiful painting over the bed there made it a darker wallpaper kind of contrasting with the rest of the upstairs and brought that same color into another full bath so it has its own ensuite as well and then we're going to come down the hallway here toward the front of the house and this is why I added at the beginning of the video on the screen a three to four bedroom home I originally had this as a three bedroom, but I decided to turn this room upstairs into a fourth bedroom. I was originally going to make it a music room and an office, and that's why you see that little closet there that was gonna hold some instruments, and then this was gonna be a closet for it too, like for files, but I decided to make it into a fourth bedroom. So you have the option of either making this a bedroom or whatever you would like, but I decided to bring that little office area out into that L-shaped space upstairs, if that makes sense. So kind of a versatile layout. And so now we'll take a look at it from this angle. You see the front yard here with the beautiful red trees in the entrance there. And this is the garage. And then you have that dining room here where you can get to it from three different rooms. And then you have the entryway over here to the right. And the little closet there that holds the coats and shoes. And then you come back through to the L-shaped great room, which has your living room and your kitchen. And then there's the entrance from the garage into the kitchen. It's a pantry and a laundry room. And you saw the little full bath downstairs and the guest bedroom. And then there's the office downstairs. You have two office spaces here. There's a lot you can do with these other rooms. If you don't want a second office downstairs, you can make like a screened in porch area with some windows. You could do a lot with this. Like I said, it's a three to four bedroom house, 
So with the extra rooms downstairs toward the back, just use your imagination and make it your own. But that was the master suite there. Then you have a little hallway and then one of the bedrooms here with its own bathroom. And there is a little closet there that I forgot to show you for that bedroom. And then you have the optional fourth bedroom right here with the closet and its own bathroom as well. So yeah, like I said, a layout that you can really make your own and use the rooms as you wish. And I'm loving the design of the house. I like how it looks on the outside. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. And if you are someone who has watched me for a while and stayed subscribed to me for this long without me being here, I want to say a special thank you to each and every one of you for staying with me. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider becoming part of our little family here and hit that subscribe button. And also remember to head on over to Facebook and join the new page. Remember, we already have a group. We've had it for a while with many, many members, but we also have the new Facebook page. The grid is coming up at the end of the video. If you'd like to use this layout, feel free. I love you all, and I've missed you so much, and thank you again, and I will be seeing you on the next video. Take care.